Hey guys, Johnny Rotisser here at Kofa National Wildlife Refuge just outside of Quartzsite, Arizona. I am here to share with you some of my favorite things to cook in a beautiful setting like this. Today for you, I have acorn squash. Beautiful, simple, easy, just delicious. Let's get to it. I like to start by cutting a little notch out, make it a little bit easier to get that spit in because these little veggies can be mighty tough and that, and that spit can be hard to jab through there. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit easier hole to work with. This, for the record, it's the first time I've thought about actually trying to do it this way. Usually I do just jab it in there, but I've found more often than not, it is hard to get through. All right, so I just opened it up a little bit. I'm gonna grab the spit. Here, ready to go. And we are going to take our handy dandy acorn squash and jam it on here. See if it's going to go on easier. Yes, it did. And you can give it a little pop to get it to pop through. I've already got one of our squeeze lock spikes on here. And uh, that's really just there to keep it in place. So just get one on there, and then we'll get a second one on there. Hold it down as it's going to soften up as it goes out of the spit. And over the fire. Acorn squash, here we go. Out on the fire. We're going to drop it down. Get it nice. Love our coals. And off we go. Don't be afraid to get it right above the heat. Generally, we're gonna char the uh, the outside. You get it right up to a char, um, and then you're gonna just take out the insides at the end, and we'll mix it with all kind of delicious goodies. Here we got a little fire going. There we got our acorn squash, and there we have a beautiful mountain in the background. Enjoy. We'll check back in a little bit later. Most of the time I wouldn't recommend cooking it right over the flame, but with acorn squash it's a bit of an exception in that uh, you've got the, the, the outside portion which you generally don't eat. Most folks don't. And uh, But one thing I will do here is I'm seeing right here I don't have quite enough heat going on the back side of the acorn squash. So I'm going to reset my fire a little bit just so you make sure you have heat getting to all sides as evenly as possible. Here I'm going to reset my fire one more time just to make sure I'm getting maximum use out of my coals. I like to turn my wood over get all that. Make sure I get all the burn inside facing up. Around my charcoal a little bit. You can see that our little friend, the acorn squash, is starting to sweat a little bit, and that the squeeze lock spikes are starting to dig into the skin. That is a sign that we are on our way to greatness. Mm -mm -mm, this is gonna be yummy. There goes our sunset. This little place to hang out and. Up some acorn squash. Mm -hmm. Coming up. Okay, here we are, getting close to the end. Starting to get a little bit dark here, but you can see it's got a nice dark coloring. The skin's starting to get a nice little texture to it. So I've uh, brought it in here. You can see how it started coming apart. Where the uh, spike was going. Oh, sorry, that was the steam. First thing we're going to do is pull the squeeze lock spikes and the spit off out of our uh, little uh, acorn squash. And I'll need two hands, so hold tight. Get the other one out and the spit. Ta da! Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull off this. Woo, Pretty warm, careful. 
pull off the skin and then we're going to pull out the insides get rid of the seeds <coughs> and then uh, we'll uh, be able to uh, then mix it with some other choice ingredients such as um, brown sugar nutmeg cinnamon and butter but you can see how the skin is just coming right off <clears throat> doesn't even require two hands which is handy this is pretty hot though you might want to wear some ouch gloves see that steam coming off by the way cook time on that was uh, about an hour and 15 minutes today there you see the seeds there <clears throat> next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to just uh, use uh, the knife I used earlier to cut the uh, acorn squash open and I'm gonna scoop those out I'm gonna scrape out these little seeds I imagine some people would probably like to toast that up in the toaster and snack on them I can't imagine they'd be bad, it should be just like pumpkin seeds. Now we're gonna save this part over here. There we go. Butter! Yay, butter! Oh, this is technically something, a butter equivalent, but uh, butter, margarine, whatever. That'll do. Next, nutmeg! Yay, nutmeg! Don't mind the shaking, it's just me shaking the nutmeg. This is real cinema folks, nothing, nothing. We don't have directors, we don't have tripods, we're just doing this for your cooking pleasure. Okay, now we're going cinnamon. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Salt, salt. You can kosher salt, use whatever you like. And then we'll just stir all this up. Make it a nice little pile of deliciousness. Okay, I dropped in a couple lumps of brown sugar. Because my brown sugar is not quite as fresh as maybe it could have been. But such is life. This stuff is getting warm. It'll get that melted. It'll break up and melt just fine. So we'll get that in there. And then you're off to a delicious for the vegetarians. This will be a meal. Perhaps for the others, maybe this will be a nice little side dish to go with your chicken or with your turkey or whatever else that you might be wanting to cook out there. Ladies and gentlemen, acorn squash. Enjoy.